with Clark Tower, Capcom introduced survival horror genre, and then with Resident Evil 1 and Raccoon City Incident, there was a birth of a franchise that was going to be so big that even Capcom wouldn't believe it. Yes guys, we are talking about the survival horror series, Resident Evil. First of all, today's episode was requested by my online sister Hele, so please check out her channel for some great game music videos and gameplay videos entirely based on Resident Evil. So, way back in 2000 or something, I was 8 years old or 9 years old and I, I never had played any horror games and I was introduced to horror thanks to Resident Evil 3. Now. Uh, the Resident Evil 3 had awesome theme. It was so unique that I had never ever saw anything like that. And it was so scary that I had stopped playing that game until 2009. In between, I, I found some awesome Capcom survival horror games such as Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis 1, 2, and no, there are only 2 on the PlayStation 1. So, Dino Crisis was also a great Resident Evil like franchise. Then it was made exclusive to Xbox, so, so I really missed playing that. But anyway, in 2009, I was, I was with my parents and I went to a DVD shop, which, which also happens to sell video games. And then I saw one cover, and I was curious about it because that cover had this image, this scary little image with this red, red background, and there's there's a forest and there's one guy with a chainsaw I, it made me curious and I remember that I have one game named Resident Evil so uh, let's play it I played Resident Evil 3 once again and I, I thought that hey why not buy a next generation Resident Evil uh, and for me the next generation Resident Evil was this this PS2 because I was making uh, hugely from PS1 to PS2 and then I bought this game and I loved it. I mean, the intro and the main hero, Leon S. Kennedy, was so likable. And there's one scene which I really like, in, and that scene is that uh, when Leon S. Kennedy enters a house and every zombies uh, in the village are gathered around and then there's one chainsaw guy trying to break the door. And that level is so intense and was so intense for me because I was so new to the horror genre that I, sp I spent like days to solve that level because I kept running I didn't I didn't kill anyone and I kept running they, they kept catching me and killing me so it was really intense Resident Evil pushed me and made me a mainstream gamer that I am today uh, Resident Evil 4 is the reason I found Neoseeker.com Resident Evil 4 is another reason I have so many friends on that on that website. I have friends like uh, Jerry, Mark, uh, HK, Hunter Killer, Haley, Blank Trey, and then uh, Sweet Disaster, Dance, uh, Omni Slash, and etc. Many of them being horror gamers. So I was horror gamer now, and that horror thing didn't stop there. I was curious about horror genre universally. I mean horror movies, horror TV shows horror comics, horror articles, real world paranormal investigations, etc. So I started liking Silent Hill, The Walking Dead, Dead Rising, Dead Space, and many other horror related stuff. I was addicted to the horror and my dad knew it so he kept buying horror games such as uh, Siren, Condemned, Fear, etc. I have played RE4 uh, 20 or so times. It was 2009 and I was PS2 gamer for like 5 or so years. And, and I saw Resident Evil 5 on the internet and the gameplay and everything looked so photorealistic and at the same time it looked familiar to Resident Evil 4 so along with God of War 3, Resistance, Uncharted, Race Fortune Resident Evil 5 was another reason I wanted PlayStation 3 so when I finally got PS3 in May 2009 thanks to my dad, thank you dad, thank you mom I was addicted to Resident Evil 5 I have played that game for like 20 or so times. I have earned platinum trophy 100% on that game twice. On my old PSN account and on the new, the current one. So I like Resident Evil 5 and because of Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 5's blonde avatar, 
I really liked uh, Jill Valentine. I still do. And I'm really sad that Resident Evil 6 didn't have a Jill Valentine or even mention of her. But anyway, I bought Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition just to get the DLC episodes featuring Jill Valentine and to get everything in one package. So it was 2012 and there was news that Resident Evil has a lot of characters and Resident Evil 6 is so cinematic. I started to think that hey maybe I should get it because it has mercenaries. Resident Evil 5 mercenaries is also a part of my Resident Evil memories because I have played hours and hours of mercenaries with friends such as Agent Mo, Hunter Killer, Aragorn, Hele. So for the story and Leon S. Kennedy, Ed Avang, Chris and for the mercenaries I decided to buy Resident Evil 6. There were some map packs and I could only get map packs if I pre-order it. And being in India, I couldn't pre-order it from Capcom.com. So I found this awesome website, Flipkart.com and I ordered it from it and then I got it. So I got Resident Evil 6 and 3 DLC maps with it. So. Uh, Resident Evil franchise is also close to me because Resident Evil 6 introduced me to online shopping, to pre-orders. Resident Evil 6 has the honor of being the first game which I pre-ordered from an online store. So yeah, congratulations Resident Evil 6. I think Resident Evil 6 is a good Resident Evil game, but at the same time, it strays away from the traditional survival horror formula, which made Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil uh, one so famous. Resident Evil 4 had action, but it had that environment, intense theme of the remote European village. So it was still scary. Now I like Resident Evil 6 a lot because it has online features, it provided us with a variety of characters, and it at least tried to be a hell of a ride, you know, a great enjoyable experience, uh, universally acceptable experience. But at the same time, I have this sad feeling that the game was too long and many people were bored because it was too action oriented, uh, too inspired by Gears of War, Call of Duty, etc. franchises. And I, I hope that Capcom's next Resident Evil game uh, comes out for the next generation consoles and it is more like Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 1 GameCube Remake and Resident Evil 0. I really like those games, you know, the GameCube versions. I wish I had a GameCube so I could play them, but I have watched some gameplay videos and I have respect for those games. I hope someday we get Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil GameCube Remake on PS3 or PS4. But anyway, in conclusion, I think that Resident Evil series is so loved by fans because it provides us with likable characters, it provided us with a unique gameplay experience at that time uh, in PS, PS1 time a zombie experience and I like it because it provides us with a universally likable gameplay you know the gun gameplay the survival action gameplay as opposed to the Silent Hill, Siren etc games which provide us with an other, other type of horrors which are not as action oriented as Resident Evil so Resident Evil franchise introduced many action gamers to the horror horror genre. So I really thank Resident Evil and Capcom for making the horror genre so big. I think the Resident Evil franchise is so big because of the characters, you know, Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield, uh, Leon S. Kennedy, and even villains like Wesker and the Umbrella Corporation and Tricell. Uh, they are so likable that even if they are fictional, uh, gamers have their emotions attached to some, some characters such as Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy. Um, I think Silent Hill and Resident Evil both need to survive in this, this gaming world because both kind of horrors are acceptable and are needed for gamers to have a unique experience. If you are a horror gamer, I really recommend you to try a Resident Evil and a Silent Hill game. And yeah, by the way, if you like my Resident Evil Dutch D Memories episode, Please check out my Silent Hill Dutch D Memories episode. I'm sure you'll like it and you'll know more about my horror gaming. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, any ideas for the future uh, Dutch D Memories episodes, please let me know in the comments section below and have a hell of a ride playing a Resident Evil game you really like. This is Dirty Sanga.